Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Sully's Models. Um, so in this video, we're gonna be looking at the wings and uh, undercarriage. Uh, I'm gonna show you, um, you know, sort of parts of how this has gone together. Um, some of the cleanup I've done, uh, particularly within the, the wings and the gun ports. Um, also show you how I've uh, done the undercarriage and tire assembly um, and a little bit weathering on that. So. Uh, if you haven't been following this, um, there's a couple of other videos uh, about about this uh, P51 uh, Mustang challenge that we're doing. Um, the links uh, for that are below um, in the description as well as um, a link to the previous video on how the cockpit um, and some of the detail uh, went together in that video. So um, let's get on with it and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so what did actually quite surprise me uh, with this kit was uh, the fact that the ejection slips actually weren't open. Um, it's a very well detailed kit, um, so I says it's quite uh, it's quite surprising. So uh, set a belt, um, set a belt, set about even uh, removing um, the plastic blocking uh, behind it. So all I started out with uh, was, as you can see, uh, my uh, rotary tool. Uh, start off. Uh, just to you know drill a couple of holes and um, you know quite easily take out the bulk um, of that with um, a drill bit as you can see they're nice and easy so then uh, I got a bit of a, a grinding tool and just uh, quite simply just worked away at those uh, big nasty blocks uh, in the back um, pretty much bring it straight down to the same level uh, as the re rest of the uh, the inside of the wing. So after all that, um, thinning it down and taking all that uh, bulk plastic out the back, uh, sharp knife and just uh, cleaned up any uh, loose bits um, there, uh, make it all nice and clean and neat. I've uh, took it down a little bit further to, to thin the pa uh, ports out uh, to make it look um, a little bit more realistic. And then after that, I've put a bit of uh, Tamiya extra thin in uh, just to take out any um, extra bits I didn't get with the knife. So we've got the uh, the wings attached uh, to the fuselage. It was a bit of a tight squeeze, but we got there in the end. Um, as you can see there, we've uh, blacked along the edges of the, the uh, wings to check for any seam lines, put a bit of filler in there and uh, rubbed it down. Okay, so there we can see all uh, the undercarriage uh, bay is all done there. Uh, we've got the uh, wash in there. It's all quite nice there. Didn't want that too heavy in the case of this one. Um, and of course, uh, little bay doors there. Still got a bit of a shell because it's got a gloss uh, coat in there. I'll put my varnish off for that uh, in a minute. Um, but yeah, so uh, we'll have a look at the undercarriage itself now and uh, go from there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you uh, how I've done the uh, hydraulics wire line there. Uh, very easy um, to do. It's bit, well, I say it's easy, it's fiddly, but it's not, uh, it's not exactly hard you know, to pull off. So, obviously you want our undercarriage leg. And I'm using a bit of fine steel wire there okay so now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get a cocktail stick if we can find the one I had two seconds ago we'll get a new one so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually put the uh, I think the right way the bend there's a bend in it um, that goes 
through uh, the leg. I'll put that in first, because I find this bit is the easiest bit to do first and second, or last. Feed this through. That way. So I'm doing this bit cag out here because the camera's in the way really. <laughs> okay, so we'll get that through in there. No, I've done this wrong way around. So this is the problem, you're gonna make sure you get this the right way around. I'm gonna loop this round like that. Just really want a small loop there. Close it up a little bit. Okay. And we will thread it through there. This is where it becomes a little bit fiddly. Quite a bit fiddly actually. I'll wrap that around here for a second. Easy. Okay, so want a slight angle on there. Okay, so it goes around the like, top of the leg. So it sits like that. And what I'm going to do, I'll do this off camera, I think. Because I'm not going to be able to do it on camera, I don't think. So give me a second. A pair of tweezers, see if we can get there, come on, focus. And we'll just bend that over at a right angle. And with a bit of luck, I'll bend that in the right place. Just about, so it sits in the middle of the leg there. And on this side, I'm going to have to copy my original one there. I'll try and do it in reverse. Because you want to get this sort of little dog leg in there. I can never do I can never do this in the opposite direction. This is what uh, always have a reference photo as well for this this sort of thing because it makes life a hell of a lot easier. So that should be pretty much the same the opposite way around. So, wait, there we go. So, what I'll do in a second is I'll cut the, uh, the top wire so it lines up straight up the, uh, the leg there and uh, glue it into place. Now, because there is a couple of uh, holding brackets, I had a small bit of brass there which I've just bent over, which will technically part that band there and then for the leg one here I actually just used a bit of masking tape cut pretty thin there uh, and all I did was round about there I super glued it so it's not going to go anywhere uh, at all so there you go it's quite simple it's fiddly but it, it, it is easy um, but get some reference photos for these sort of things because um, it's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier um, to uh, do these parts. So, but there you go, it's the uh, hydraulic slide there. Okay, so we've uh, base coated the undercarriage leg with uh, MIGS flat aluminium, uh, sprayed a gloss uh, coat over, ready for a wash using um, Flory. Uh, Flory Models uh, Dark Dirt to cake it in. Uh, after that, we let it dry, dry.
dry off very nicely. Uh, and then uh, with the cotton bud, a uh, bit of water, wipe off all the excess and uh, leaves us with uh, dirt in all the right places. So next we move on to the tires. Uh, the rims are painted again in flat aluminium, uh, masked off and painted with uh, Temia's XF85, which is a black rubber. And then we do the bit I love the most, revealing the undercoats there. Very nice. So then I move on to putting um, a little red mark uh, on the tyre and the rim. These are indicator marks for uh, tyre slippage. So obviously for the tyre itself, uh, slides around, the red mark is kept obviously in place on the rim, which obviously then shows that the tyre has moved and needs replacing. So this is a cut out small square and uh, instead of prattling around with an airbrush and, and you know, clean that out, um, bit of red paint on a, on a sponge and then dabbed it on. I have actually done it a little bit uh, a little bit long, but I'm still very happy with that. So next I'll move on to weathering the tyre itself. Uh, I've rubbed out quite a large chunk out the centre of the tyre uh, to give it a more of a, a used um, look, and quite well worn. Um, but between the uh, rest of the grooves that are still in there, I've uh, mixed in some uh, AK's uh, ground European earth. Um, with a bit of pigment and then when that's dry I've uh, dusted that over with the same pigment mixed in with some stardust uh, dark earth so there we have it um, afterwards I did actually put a uh, light spray of um, pigment fixer to you know to fix in that last uh, dusting coat there but very happy with that and I think it uh, gives it a good uh, used effect to the tyre So there you go guys, uh, I hope that was useful, um, I hope you've got some uh, tips of that as well uh, and how to do uh, particularly like the undercarriage, obviously there's a lot more uh, detail in the undercarriage in the video. Um, but thanks guys uh, for watching, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel, uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Sully's Models and uh, yeah, um, there'll be more on this uh, so keep an eye on that, so if you pop a, a click on the bell button, um, obviously this will tell you obviously when uh, videos come available um, so yeah uh, thanks again guys and I'll catch you again soon so there you go guys uh, I hope that was useful um, I hope you've got some uh, tips of that as well uh, and how to do uh, particularly like the undercarriage obviously there's a lot more uh, detail in the undercarriage in the video um, but thanks guys uh, for watching uh, please like and subscribe to the channel uh, follow us on Facebook on Instagram at Sully's Models and uh, yeah um, There'll be more on this, uh, so keep an eye on that. So if you pop a, a click on the bell button, um, obviously this will tell you obviously when uh, videos come available. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you again soon.